welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming with yours truly, I Octane. Today we are looking at the um, combination creating decks from what I've got within my inventory. So as you saw from last video, I didn't get much from the vault. So today I'm just putting together decks that use the uses the cards that I've got. So this combination uses Slayer and Commander mixed together. So I'm doing, I'm using an ultimate form, which is a Slayer, but it's in Mortal Killer. So it actually works in combination with the current Commander deck. So this is the Beast. So it's Bitscrake Beasts. I'm using two copies of the main card. I got one from the vault and I got a second copy from the five star collection, which was quite good. I'm also using the support card as lead to bring together the whole deck and I'm using the ultra rare from the from the big scrape deck so this one will actually create a bit more power gem so what this one does it creates two fire it creates two fire gems and two fire power gem twos it applies searing stock to up to four slayer ears for two turns at a rate at up one plus an additional one per hundred skill points. So the passive is what this card passes on to Slayer cards. It doesn't pass it to Commander cards. It only can pass it on to Slayer cards. So this will, when a healing battle skill is used, it will increase the attack up by 30%. So self attack by 30%. So any card this support um this passive is passed onto will increase its self attack by 30 percent plus it will create an additional two fire power gem freeze this is one of the um, things that we're gonna rely upon to give us a few power gems on the board so these two cards from the slayer deck is primarily there to provide us with a bit more power gems the next combination that I'm using is a totally Slayer deck. So again, I'm using the Blix Craig Beasts to give me the killer skill. They'll also give me power gems along with Dispots of Despair and they will give me the nuke damage at the end. The nuke damage is not really good for Commander um, events because what it will do, it will stop you a lot of the time from actually getting the overkill on the ultra kill boss we won't be able to do much damage against the ultra kill bosses because we haven't got the current deck the current deck is probably and i'm saying probably because i haven't got much um six pink star ultimate forms so it's probably one of the only decks that will be able to get you 500 percent on the ultra kill boss this one will finish the event it will complete the collection but this one is not gonna place your first place in um, say Kings League or Emperor League we ain't even gonna talk about Legend League so this deck is just a deck primarily to enable you to complete the collection and do quite well on the solar leaderboard depending which league you're in Last but not least, this combination is not really powerful, but it's quite good, it's quite unique, and it works. So we're going to take a look at this one in action first. What you need for this deck to work is a card that produces a, a minimum of 3 to 4 power gem 4s. This one produces 6. I'm also running the support card and the main card from the current deck along with Firefly Thought. Thought was a card that we, 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 if you play the event, I think it, a uh, season, I think it was three seasons ago? I think it was three season prior, we um, got the opportunity to get a copy of Thought. If you had played the season and you got a copy of Thought, you could add one copy of Thought. I just managed to have two. One copy of Thought just to give you a bit extra power gems. 
So for those of you who have never seen Thought before, Thought is a card that creates five Power Gem 2s. And if there are four or more five Power Gem 4s on the board, it will create an additional five. That's what this card does. And this is the card that's going to produce most of our Power Gems for us. So here we go. I'm going to use three keys. We're going to get into battle and we're going to see how well this deck actually performs. So this deck um, will not get you 200% on the overkill boss. But as I said, if you haven't got the current deck and you haven't got a deck that is really powerful, you can use a deck like this to actually complete. So the activation sequence is you activate the card that's going to give you the four power gem fours, then thought, then your main card. Last but not least is support card. You swap your power gems. And the main damage de dealers are going to be your cards from the current deck. So all I need to do now is just play through the turns and get all my battle skills ready. And then I can go again and I can finish off this boss. So I'm running out of time. So hopefully I've done enough. So now I've done enough, so I'm out of time. So time is an issue when you're using a deck like this. Because this card, which is Prometheus, has got a six turn cooldown. So that six turn cooldown is the killer with this deck. So this deck is giving you trillions of damage. Let's look at the damage output. So as you can see, 902 billion damage so it isn't giving you mad amount of damage it isn't giving you trillions of damage but it can take out the bosses what i normally do is get my bosses up to 200 and hit a few of the medium bosses until my decks are unable to kill the medium bosses then i go back to hitting the, um, the small solo bosses and then primarily rely on my um, ultra kill and overkill bosses if I've got a deck that can actually get at least 300% on the ultra kill boss. If I can't get more than just say a finish on the ultra kill boss, I will kill a few of the ultra, ultra kill boss if it only takes me three keys. If it's going to take me nine keys just to get um, a finish, I'm not going to bother with the ultra kill boss. I'll just primarily rely on my overkill bosses so the next deck up will be my slayer deck and this one is going to be a bit more it's going to be a bit quicker it's going to be a bit more powerful of the three combination this is the most powerful even though it's a slayer deck and this is the one that i'm using through the event i've started using it and this is one that i'm going to continue to use straight throughout the event until the event finishes on monday so I'm going to activate from right to left. And I've got a full board of power gems. I'm going to swap my power gems. And I should at least get quite close to 1 trillion damage. And then nuke damage takes the boss out. So that's what I'm saying about the nuke damage. The nuke damage will prevent you from getting your overkill from time to time. So if you don't want to prevent yourself getting the overkill, then you can just use the Blitzcrate deck. If you've got um, a full deck of cards for the Blitzcrate deck, or you can add other Slayer cards to the mix. You can add other um, Fire Ultimate forms. I just choose to use this part of the spirit, but you can use other Ultimate form from, from, Slay from the Slayer um, combinations. So, this is the next combination which uses both a commander and a slayer deck in combination and primarily what i'm looking for i'm looking for enough power gems on the board so that my damage dealers which are my cards are my damage dealers anyway to do enough enough damage to actually take the boss out so again i'm gonna go 
left inwards and then I'm gonna right inwards and I'm gonna go left inwards and last but not least I'm gonna activate my support card just to fill out the spaces this one should do a bit more damage so as you can see the Blitzkrieg Beast is actually doing over 700 billion damage and this one gave me an overkill of 343 billion so this one is the most powerful of the three which I didn't realize that it was most powerful of most powerful of the three combination until I just use it because this wasn't the one that I was using that's the one that I was using but I think from now on I'll be primarily relying on this combo because this combo actually works really really well so if you've got like myself two main cards if you've got one main card two support card then if you've got the Blitzkrieg uh, deck then you can actually use that deck in conjunction with the support card and the main card and you could actually be in business so there you go really nice deck obtainable and cheap depending on what you've got in your collection so that's the three decks that i've got for you today haven't got much to showcase from the current deck but i'm hoping next week uh if i'm lucky enough to actually get the deck from the water slay event that actually that's starting next week hopefully that's fun um so far the event hasn't been too bad been enjoying it uh not really enjoying the decks that i've got but the, it is what it is and i'm using it to actually do what i need to do so i've collected quite a few of the stuff from the collection i'm actually over one billion so far collection is okay i'm primarily uh, focused on getting my season coins and um see where i go from there Anyway, that's all I've got for you in this particular video, but I have been posting other videos of other games on the channel. Just let me know what you think of the games that I've been posting. Tell me if you want to see other games. Tell me if you would like to see um, me do videos on the games that I've posted. Just leave a like on the game, on, on the videos. Leave a comment on the videos. This is Arctane saying, peace, enjoy the event, and bye for now.